everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I'm trying to adjust you guys a little bit. So today, I just came back from the farmer's market and um, I got a few things because I would like to get a few projects started in the kitchen today. Um, this is gonna be a big preserve day for me, if you will. So, I'm gonna try my hand at preserving some peaches for my husband and my son. He waits till I start filming to want to start crunching on a bone. Bro! Anyway, and I'm also going to try my hand at making some homemade spaghetti sauce. So I've seen quite a few YouTube um, videos on it, um, some that look very interesting. So we're going to try it today, see what we, uh, see how it turns out. So yeah, we got a lot to do today. So um, I hope that this is something that interests you guys. And um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the farmer's market first. All right, you guys, so here is what everything that I got from the farmer's market. I got some tomatoes. I got some sweet peppers, celery, yellow and uh, red onions. And I also got some peaches. I was able to get some um, Free range chicken eggs. Also, these were kind of on the expensive side. They came from um, Windy Hill Farm, right right here in North Carolina. But I was able to get all these things, and so we're gonna get started here. On, I think the first thing I'm gonna do because it takes longer is I'm gonna get all my vegetables cut up, and um, I'm gonna wash everything off, get them cut up. Place them on the baking sheet with a little oil, black pepper, uh, salt, and um, and then we're gonna bake this for, on 450 for um, an hour and 20 minutes because we want to roast our vegetables. So let's get started on that first. So I figured the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my roaster and I'm gonna put all my. Um, vegetables in that and I'll put that on my bottom oven and then I'll cut up all my tomatoes and put them in one of these pans and put them in the top oven and let everything just kind of roast um, because I don't have enough room to put everything in one. I might be able to actually get it all in my roaster so let's try that. Let's wash these vegetables off. I'm not about that life. This is a lot of um, Chunk it because eventually I'm going to um, 
all these vegetables will be uh, all these vegetables are gonna be going through my um, my ninja uh, <clears throat> uh, what is it processor anyway. If you're not aware of how to do it, you literally just take your paring knife and you're just gonna stick it in there and you're just gonna cut around the core. And once you do that, you should be able to just wiggle it. I don't want to cut myself, so, and pull it out. I just kind of flake the seeds out a little bit, so I don't have to get many seeds. And I'm just going to, it's okay if you want to you leave all of this, that's okay. Um, but me, I'm gonna, you know, take all that out. But it doesn't hurt anything if you leave it. A yellow onion also. So I want to show you guys real quick um, what I put in here. So I do have everything. Look how colorful that is and how pretty it is. So these are all the vegetables that I'm going to put in here. And now we're going to go ahead and just cut up all the tomatoes and add them in here.
Okay, so now, I'm gonna move all this out the way. Wash my hands real quick, rinse them off rather. Right? So I'm gonna rinse my hands off and I'm just going to give it a good toss with my hand because I want to make sure I got everything mixed in. All the vegetables mixed in. Don't want to lose anything. Okay. So, I forgot garlic. So, these are the garlic knots I peeled previously in a different um, video. I'm just going to put all of these in there. Because I need all my garlic. Now, we're going to add some seasoning. So this is basil that came out of my garden. Um, this is some parsley that came out of my garden. Um, forgive the stems. Um, I was actually drying it out because I wanted to, um, uh, you know, I was gonna crunch it up and put it into a jar. So I was drying it out. Um, so, let me just pick this basil. I might have to go outside and get some more basil. I had washed it off and I was drying it out. So, uh, it's nice to have your own stuff in your own garden so you can kind of just get what you need when you need it. And that's kind of what I was doing. I'm not gonna be picking all this crap off the stems because, listen, honey, anybody got time? It is what it is. Okay, let me get a little bit more basil. So here's some fresh basil out of my gar my garden. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off. Okay, so the only other thing I'm gonna add is going to be some, I have this Himalayan pink salt. See, it was cool right before I hit the fist. But hit the fan when I got him down and pinched. I took a break, I had to leave him. I'm gonna also cleansed. add some black pepper. I can't say these, cause my last name ain't Kent. Cooking on the stove, that's the way he paid the rent. Working on the I don't have fresh cracked black pepper, so you just use what you got. I have some Simply Nature um, extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna spray it down. This is going to trash. They thinking I'm bluffing, but I promise I do it. That K got a drum, like murder and booming. We sending you verb if I get my little Uzi. They thinking I'm crazy. I'm going to see you there. Okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to stick this in the oven on 450 degrees. So we're going to put this in the oven on 450 for about an hour and 20, 30 minutes. He told him get about the call, hit him with the I tried to write him, but we ain't on the same page. I caught him slipping. I just had to let him know. It ain't the end of times yet. I know, but it's getting close. These demons really had to get you, so you better guard your post. There's certain things I could probably let go, but I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 Why my oven acting up? What, what we gonna move it here? Look like it's resetting. Okay. It may have reset. Let's try it again. Okay, so it must have reset itself. Okay. Okay, so all I'm doing right now is taking the jars out that I did uh, bring to a semi-boil. I didn't boil them, boil them all the way. Uh, and I'm just dumping the water out. 
and I'm just going to let them kind of dry here a little bit and then we're going to go to working on the actual peaches. I am also bringing, this is my water bath canner right here. You can see it and um, I'm heating that up as well because it doesn't take long to get the items for the peaches ready. So uh, this, I'm just, you know, this, this is the top. These aren't too bad. Um, the lids and the tops aren't bad. But I wanted to make sure, you know, you still need to make sure everything is clean. It's almost like cleaning your baby bottles. I'm not sure if you all do that or did that. But um, my son didn't really suck a bottle, but when he did take like a juice cup, I would boil it first um, before I did anything and it's the same. Your brine is only sugar and water, so I'm going to, but what I want to do is I want to warm it up so the sugar is dissolved, so when I pour it in, um, the, box, the jars is basically dissolved. All right, so this pot has, it's full, and then we got two and a half cups of sugar in it. I'm not a measure, I just pour. When um, I was watching a YouTube video, she took a, uh, actual full mason jar and she put a half a cup of sugar and then she put um, a cup of water and then she put the peaches in and then she filled it up I'm gonna do it differently I'm gonna put all my peaches in and then I'm gonna fill it with the brine after that so let's go ahead and start on our get our peaches peeled and cut up and then that way we can fill them up so to keep the peaches from turning you're supposed to put a teaspoon of vinegar and a little bit of salt so I'm doing that I already put the vinegar in there I've already cleaned my peaches so I'm gonna go ahead and peel my peaches I cut up my peppers and stuff with this hair and knife so I'm just gonna go ahead on and peel the peaches my way because I don't have time to be doing all of that um, these peaches I got from the farmer's market, they do have some soft spots on them. Um, so some of them, just kind of peel them off, do what you can do.
can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. See, we was cool right before I hit your fist. But he hit the fan when I got him down and pinched. But I took a break, I had to leave and go get cleansed. God forgive me for all my sins. I can't say these cause my last name ain't Kent. Cooking on the stove, that's the way he paid the rent. Working on the pole, that's the way she pays the wish. Better watch your soul, cause you know they trying to get it. Yeah, yeah. I learned my right from wrong on a song. I let my heart bleed on my sleeve through microphones. I'm trying to write my wrongs by writing out my wrongs. Ran through a check, cause it's hard to live off bread alone. So if you see me slipping, yeah, yeah, let me know. Cause it ain't the end of times yet. I know, but it's getting close. Yeah, I need my space to breathe. That's why I be going ghost. Okay, so we have, go ahead, we have peeled in um, all of our peaches, put them in the water. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, this is my little cup here, and just basically sit this on top of the jar. I want to put my peaches in the jar. They thinking I'm bluffing, but I promise I do it. That K got a drum, like murder and booming. Sending you verb if I get my little oozy. They thinking I'm crazy. I'm gonna see you the haters. People I'm saying get what I'm paying. The picture I know I can't afford to be playing chess. You're gonna need a vest. Act big, um, because once I feel it, my first five seem real tragic. That's Dallas, Texas. My little pop don't call me back. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put our peaches in the jar. Um, we're gonna put them in the jar and we're gonna let them sit for about 10 minutes. Um, I'm gonna get my little cup out of the jar and I'm gonna go ahead and put my peaches in the jar. We ain't on the same page. I caught him slipping. I just had to let him know. It ain't the end of times yet. I know, but it's getting close. These demons really had to get you, so you better guard your post. There's certain things I could probably let go, but I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. So you should fill it up to about that first line, which is what I did. And you can see what you don't want is to have bubbles. So what you want to do is take your, um, to make sure you have no bubbles. I can't let them take my soul. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 nah. See, we was cool right before I hit your fist But he hit the fan when I got him down and pinched But I took a break, I had to leave and go get cleansed God forgive me for all my sins I can't say these cause my You have to be your biggest fan And when things are really tough and they're really rough And nothing's working But there's something inside of you that says I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be.
what they look like inside or we let it sit in here for 30 minutes after that we'll take them out and let them rest and then we um i usually let my stuff rest overnight once it rests i can put it in my pantry and it's ready to go i think you should side with me stay solid one time if you lie with me just promise you never lie to me keep the moves on tuck i know it's all up everything good keep the vibes on crush i know it's all good know it's all This is what the final product looks like. We just have to wait for it to um, just settle. So I let it sit here overnight and then I'll move it to my pantry. So now I'm prepping my um, lids and my jars for my spaghetti sauce. Um, I did check it. You guys, if you could just smell all the seasoning, the, not even seasoning, I'm sorry, but the bell peppers, the onions, the tomatoes, the basil, all that flavor um, just coming together. Oh, it just smells so good. So I'm super excited to put that together. I know it's all good, good. I know it's all good.
can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops fall. It's cold outside, and I kinda feel like calling, but it's too. tomato flavor is tomato sauce for spaghetti so um I, I like it I, I don't know what else to say um I did cook it should I say or ooh, ooh. I'm just removing the top so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like okay so here we are and I mean, it looks delicioso. I did add some Italian seasoning to it. I added some more garlic. I added some, um, just different herbs I had um, into my in my cabinet. I added some different herbs to it. So now we're just gonna go ahead on and get this thing going. You can see the garlic, some, some of that might be tomato seeds, but um, I'm excited you guys um, it it when I tell you guys it tastes really good oh I did have to add sugar one of the ladies added some sugar to hers I'm assuming that's to cut the acidity to it so I did add sugar to it so what we're gonna do now so we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna move these jars out the way well these are lids So I'm going to, I don't want to mess up my white cloth here. I'm gonna try to, there you go, so you guys can see. So I'm going to rinse this off. All right, so we're going to start ladling our um, sauce. 
sauce. So I forgot to add in um, two teaspoons of lemon juice. If you have a quart, you have to add in two teaspoons of lemon juice per quart. If you're doing them in pints, you need to add in one teaspoon of lemon juice per pint. This is my sauce, the jar's hot, but look at my sauce. Oh my gosh, you can't tell me that don't look stove off. <laughs> Girl, oh my God. So we're gonna move this one out the way. And one jar will feed my husband and I. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these jarred up and then I'll come back when it's time to lid and put them in the um, pressure cooker. Okay, so for everything that I cooked up today, I did not get as much as I would like. I was only able to get three and a half quarts, which is fine. So I'm going to just put this to the side because I will be cooking some spaghetti tonight. And I have to go to the store anyway. So I'll actually take this spaghetti and I'll get a very small jar of like ragu or something. And then I'll put it together with this. And um, yeah, but you guys, I've tasted it. It is amazing. So let's go ahead on and um, go on. To, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Wipe my rim. But they need to come up above the actual jar itself. Um, it should the water should cover the jar. So I was adding water to the pot because my water that I already had in there was not covering um, the jars. So we're gonna let it boil. I want it once it comes to a boil, then we'll start timing it for 30 minutes. Once that's done, I'll come back and I'll show you all what it looks like um, after it's completed. All right, you guys, so the time has come and everything has boiled and it's time to take them out.
So that's it. So I'm all set. So again, I was able to get one, two, three, four, five um, pints of peaches done today and three and a half quarts of um, spaghetti sauce. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I wasn't able to get my bread done today, but it is what it is. I still have time actually to do it. I just gotta go to the store and pick up some more ingredients. So, but I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that you learned something and that you got something out of this video. Trust and believe, you know, if I can do it, you can do it. All I did was watch a couple of videos and I just kind of put it together to make it to what I wanted it to be. I added some more ingredients to make it to my taste. And um, it's just one of those things where it's just a little bit more of clean, clean living. It's nothing wrong with um, using tomato sauce or spaghetti sauce off the shelf. I'm just trying to move towards using um, ingredients that I have in my home or I purchase fresh ingredients and start using fresh ingredients. So again, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, bye.